When we talk about preparing for winter, that can mean a couple of different things. Number one, winter as in, you know, the economy going into a, a sort of winter, but also preparing for winter, preparing for the fall and the holiday season. All of a sudden, it's the end of the year, and you might not have hit your numbers. You might not have hit your goals. And then you're playing catch up, which in marketing does not really work well. It looks forced, it looks, you know, desperate, or you end up spending four times as much just because you do not take the time to go through a plan. When there's a contraction, you have to spend even more money because that's when you want to go out and really capture market share because when times get great again, then you're you know, the 10,000 pound gorilla and you're really going to take over your market. Right, and obviously the knee-jerk reaction is to stop spending money, but everybody else might be stopping that money spend. Well, people still have to have services and they still need products. So you need to be out there in front of them. So we do say double down, not just because it's in a, it's what we do, but as business owners too, that's what we're preparing for as well. We're trying to get ready for a proverbial winter and you wanna be as winter proof as possible as Tony Robbins says. Take some time now, prepare for what could happen. You may never need that plan, but it's great to have in your back pocket for if you need that plan.